Good evening and welcome to 7 News. Two million people will be set free from the snap three-day lockdown in six hours after the Premier declared it a successful circuit breaker to protect against COVID. But state leaders have accused Mark McGowan of not carrying his weight after he again took aim at the Commonwealth over a failing hotel quarantine system. Beaches packed, footpaths full, surfers fighting for waves. This was Trigg Beach as the temperature rose to 31 degrees. It looks like any other Monday public holiday, barely any sign of lockdown until you look up. Warnings falling on deaf ears. Please, no sunbathing and you just ask people to wear the mask. Yeah, it's pretty surprising because well, obviously not a lot of people are meant to be out. I'm shocked to see that this is lockdown and look at our beaches, even though I know we've come for a walk. The good news is there is little chance of infection. With no new cases recorded overnight, the lockdown will officially end at midnight. But there is no snap back to normal. Masks will be mandatory for at least the next four days. School will be back tomorrow. Primary school children won't need masks. Teachers and secondary students will. It's back to work too, unless you can work from home. Hospitality like pubs and restaurants can open, but only with 20 customers. The four square metre rule is back and all service must be seated. The casino stays shut, as do nightclubs and gyms. Weddings and funerals are allowed, but you must apply for an exemption to allow 100 people. Community sport can go ahead, but without spectators. Business is weighing up the cost. We estimate across the board uh, around up to 100 million would have been lost as a result of these closures. And over the forthcoming week, um, you can pretty much well double that through to Saturday morning. Some elective surgeries have been cancelled. The focus will be on Category 1 and Urgent Category 2 elective surgery for the next four days. Non-urgent Category 2s and all Category 3s will be rescheduled. That's got the AMA offside. One of the things we're frustrated about is the cancellation again of elective surgery this week uh, for reasons which are a bit unclear to us. From midnight, restrictions on travel from Perth and Peel regions will be dropped, but you'll still need to wear a mask. The feud between Mark McGowan and the federal government continues unabated. The state wanting to wipe its hands completely of any responsibility for overseas travellers. New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian says WA was part of the original decision to run hotel quarantine. Now, every time you do have an outbreak or a challenge, it's not really healthy to have these blame games. You just have to get on with it and do the job. Mark McGowan says agreement on running quarantine was made 14 months ago and since then it's clear it's no longer suitable and the Commonwealth needs to take over. And the Premier says WA may never return to taking 1,000 overseas travellers every week. Feds then turn around and say, well, here's a thousand this week, deal with it. Yeah, well, they can't do that. They can't do that. Jeff, they can't do that. Jeff Parry, 7 News.